Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I am going to talk to you about drying up our goats. And in this video it's not about you know the drying up process. I'm not going to talk to you so much about that because you probably already read about it. But it's all about you know my reasoning behind stop milking them besides the point that they're producing a little bit less milk for what I'm feeding them or the ratio between those two things. Now for Annabelle since she's been apart from her boy she had a single boy but if you want to watch that it will be linked down below and she was producing a good amount of milk for having one boy and milking once a day but when the colder weather hit us she started to produce less. Annabelle is not going to be bred immediately, so she's not going to have babies in the spring. So because of that, you know, she's going to go into heat every 21 days. And every time she goes into heat, she uh, stops producing a lot of milk as well. So because of that, she's not only producing less milk, but she's also producing less milk when she's in heat and it could be like a three-day process kind of situation when she's producing even less milk so for me and what i'm feeding her and the price of feed right now it's not worth keeping her in milk now as far as mocha she's able to stay in milk and i'm gonna let her be with the girls at night and during the day now what it means to me not milking her it's going to be an investment on health i've been reading a lot about healthy goats and warm resistant goats and one of the keys to have healthy goats is to let them stay with their moms and you know let them nurse for as long as you can until the mom is completely done and she weans them now they do have that instinct they do know when it's time to wean them some moms like clara she can't say no so if that's the case then i'm gonna have to intervene in the future but right now by stopping the milking process with the mocha i'm gonna let the girls have that extra milk that it's not a lot since it's been kind of cold i've been getting probably a cup and a half in the morning and that's really not even close to what she was producing so it really doesn't make sense for me to take away that little milk give her a lot of feed to keep her in milk and then on top of that um i think there's more benefit in her girls taking that milk and growing stronger and healthier now a lot of people wonder you know there's this happens every you know it almost every farm like they wean the babies and stuff like that and they either bottle feed them feed them or they just wean them at eight weeks but i have to say that because of my experience with clara adopting our weather that was the tiniest thing he was so like that's why he wasn't supposed to be a buck an intact buck because he wasn't what he should have been and now i look at him and since he was adopted by clara and he was with her for the longest time now he is one of the healthiest goats that i own uh, especially when i'm talking about the boys i mean i never had to warm her warm him or do anything to health wise because in my opinion keeping him with um you know some kind of supply of milk it really gave him all the antibodies and everything that he needed to grow healthy and clara is a great healthy goat and i think that she gave him more than he needed but it helped them a lot so by keeping the milk you know to the girls 
my idea is yes i'm not gonna be taking that cup and a half in the mornings that it's nice to have around it's nice for the coffee it's nice for drinking during the day but at the same time i know i'm investing in the health of the girls because since they're both girls and i'm keeping them both and i want to breed them because i like um their everything that i see as far as you know confirmation and everything looks great and you know only with time i'll be able to see you know i know that gaia has a better structure than brie and i worry about brie sometimes because she is the tiniest she's the one that eats the least amount compared to the others and i think that having that extra milk and that extra nourishment and antibodies it's really going to help her grow healthier which in the end that's all i want i want them to be able to be healthy if they're great quality you know for breeding then awesome because i'll keep them and we'll get beautiful babies out of them but if not if it ended up in a position where she's too small or you know whatever the case may be at the time of breeding then i can always be comforted with the idea that she's a healthy goat and even if you keep those smaller goats for yourself as a pet or you sell them as pets then you know that you are selling something that is not going to be a heartache or you know a money problem or a vet you know kind of situation needed and that she's going to have a great life just because she's super healthy so we talk about annabelle not producing a lot of milk since it's cold we talk about the benefit of mocha giving that milk to her girls and keeping them healthy and we talk about the feed being expensive for the amount of milk that I'm getting in the mornings and granted if I milk them twice a day it could have been a different story but it's not on the cards for us right now and it's not for me it's not something I can do so I am trying to be okay with the best that I can do in this situation it's very important for me to prioritize um, I need to be able to say what is the most important thing right now the most important thing right now there's a lot of more important things or the most important things right now in a farm so it really makes sense to me to reevaluate everything going on in the farm and where I could invest that extra time that if I'm not milking and I am making this change, how can I use that time in a better way? What other things need to be done in order to make this thing work and make it worth it? Because in the end, I was just dreading the idea of drying Annabelle up. But at the same time, I know that because of freeing that time and freeing that space that is taking the milking stand inside their house, there's a lot of things that are gonna, good things that are gonna come out out of this process. Clara, what do you want, Mama? You want attention, don't you? Yes, she wants attention. choking she's chewing her cud and she's choking on it i keep moving because the sun it's kind of creeping in between the trees anyways what so what does this mean what is this going to free up what am i gaining plus all the other things that i share with you today well one of the things that i been slacking on is on the the cleanup of the barn now i know people don't clean their barns every day but i do i have a little process that i do that i cover you know the poop i do the deep litter method and as of recently i've been kind of slacking on that because it's cold in the mornings i just spent you know 30 minutes while milking and setting things up so i don't want to spend that extra time and then at night i make my life so much harder because i don't want them sleeping on their own poop and even though they they have room 
I promise you they just find that spot where they just poop or they just peed and it's wet and they go lay on it so because of that I feel like that extra time that I'm gonna have in the mornings I'll be able to bring more straw clean things around because right now I've been focusing on cleaning the alley and making sure the alley is super clean because that's where they spend most of the day because it's been raining non-stop Another thing that is going to free up is the space because I am going to take the milking sand, I'm going to put it somewhere else, I'm going to cover it and that way I can use it to trim hooves and stuff when it's nice outside and I can use it for giving them medicine and stuff like that but at the same time I don't have to have it inside their house because it's taking a lot of room and really it's not a good situation so it was okay while I was milking but right now I don't need it there so by taking it out it's going to be so much easier to clean their house and to clean that alley and make sure that they have clean straw, minerals, water, and everything to be comfortable inside because this rain is just starting. Here where we are, in off-grid as we are right now, there is a season for everything. And I find myself a lot looking at seasons and thinking about seasons. And that is because during the summertime, we spend all day and I'm talking about from 5 in the morning until 10, 11 at night outside. So we don't have to be inside during the summertime. And which means that a lot of projects inside get, they don't get done. Like you do minimum or I do the minimum, I do beds, I sweep, I do the minimum. But there's a lot of things that, you know, need to be repaired or I need clo uh, to organize closets or I need to deep clean closets or I need to reorganize drawers or I need to wash walls or do stuff inside that, to be honest, I find myself do doing during the winter because I have the time and I can... I am comfortable enough inside to get those things done. During the summertime, it's go, go, go. It's sunny, it's hot, it's nice. Let's get things going, be ready for the rain. But at the same time, seasons change in the homestead and you do different things in different seasons. Or at least that's how I find myself because of the way we live. It gets dark around five in the afternoon. So sometimes you go outside at 6 o'clock at night and it seems like it's, you know, midnight. So at this point, I am just trying to adjust to the seasons and try to do the best that I can to get everything done in different times throughout the year. Now there's a lot of mist and it seems like it's catching on camera, but I think it's because of the sun that is hitting and it's lifting the water. I don't know what the deal is and I don't know what's up with that car. That's kind of my thought process when I'm making a decision, you know, the pros, the cons. Okay, if I stop doing this, then I'm gonna get extra time. What am I gonna do with that extra time and stuff like that. So thank you so much for being here today. I hope that you enjoy our little chat. If you have any thoughts that you'd like to share with me, if if you do something similar or if you do things completely different please share them in the comments down below if you are new here please remember to subscribe if you don't want to miss future videos and i'll talk to you guys next time bye guys